Hi everyone! So I'm back with another video today and I know it's been a long, long time um, but I've decided that in from January, I know everyone says this, but from January I'm going to be back on with my blog and my YouTube channel hopefully producing one video a week to, the, to start with and then hopefully I'll kind of change maybe two eventually um, I'm just going to see how it goes but I thought I would just kind of preempt the January filming with um, a quick video now and it is going to be what I got for Christmas um, now I know these videos can be quite controversial but I did do one last year and it was one of my most um, liked videos and I know I personally love watching these videos so hopefully you do too um, so the first thing I got um, and probably one of my favourites for an unusual reason you're probably going to be like why is this your favourite gift but I Anyone who knows me personally will know that I love pugs. Um, I haven't got a pug yet because I still live at home, um, but I'm hoping eventually, in a few years, I will have a pug of my own. Um, but for now, this will have to do, and it is a pug. I think it's called a warmy or a hottie. Um, so it's basically a giant pug kind of plush toy, and it's so cute. Um, I was actually so happy when I opened this, you wouldn't even believe it. Um, but basically, you just put the whole entire thing into the microwave. Um, I think you used to have to pull out a bag and put them in, but with this one, you just put the entire, obviously you take the tag off, and you just put the entire thing in the microwave and it warms up. And I love this. So yeah, that was the first thing I got. Next is, I, I love stationery. Um, I do like writing notes and things on my phone, but I would much prefer to write something down physically. Um, so as I said, I'm going to hopefully start back with my blog and YouTube in the new year, so this will be perfect, hopefully. And it is a journal set, and it is by Carolina Herrera, um, and this, I believe, was from TK Maxx. Um, and it's basically just got little dogs on the notebook. I haven't actually opened this yet, but I think it comes with three journals and three pencils, and then obviously this box that it comes in, which the box is quite nice as well, so that's good. Um, so it comes with this red one that you can see here, then I believe there's a blue one and then another one underneath and they all have dogs on them in her, the designer's kind of well-known print. So I really like this, I'm going to kind of use one for my blog and then use some others for maybe work etc. So yeah, I really like that. The next thing is a little gift set and I actually had saw, had seen this prior to Christmas and was going to buy it myself but now I don't need to because I got this for my parents. Um, and it is a one of the Nails Ink um, collections. I think this is the gel. This is the gel effect collection by Alexa Chung. Um, and I really like the colours actually. There's a glitter in the middle, which everyone loves a glitter. Not even just for Christmas, anytime. And then there's a nice nude, and then some darker shades. And I personally, although today I am wearing this rather vibrant pink shade, um, I do actually usually prefer wearing darker shades. Um, but then this nude and glitter will be perfect as well because I love a good nude or pink as you can see. So yeah, that's great. I like that. I'm looking forward to trying these. The gel effect ones are usually my favourite so this is good that this comes with those. Next up, um, one that I think everyone in the UK should own or carry with them every single day but I do not. Um, I don't know why. I think every single one I have breaks. I buy the cheapy ones from Primark and stuff and they always break. Um, so I have this one now which is an umbrella as you can probably gather. And it is by Betsy Johnson. Um, Betsy Johnson is an American designer, I believe. I first discovered her when I was actually in America on holiday, years, years ago now. Um, but now she seems to have come over to the UK in places like TK Maxx. So I'm assuming that's where this is from. And it is just a floral umbrella. Now, obviously, I'm not going to open this, but you can kind of get the gist. It just says Betsy Johnson on there, and it is just a floral cup. And I really like that, and it's kind of the perfect size for my bag, um, so yeah, that is that. Next is a book that I have had my eye on, the name, <laughs> no pun intended, um, for a while, and I mentioned this, I remember a, um, a couple of months ago, and then obviously now I have it as a gift, and I'm really excited to read it, and it is Easy on the Eyes, and it's by um, Lisa Potter Dixon, and she's the benefit makeup artist. Now this book I've heard a lot about, I love the cover of it, it's such a nice, and it feels such a nice quality book. And then the back just has images. And this book is, um, I make up looks in 5, 15 and 30 minutes. And it just has something like applying eyelashes, smoky eye in 15 minutes, 
makeup in the wrong places and it just has lots of really nice imagery in it and everything so I'm looking forward to reading this I'm going to kind of try out some of the looks from this but I think it's like eyes colors etc it's really I think it's going to be a really useful book and I love all the little touches like that like the opening page has all benefit items um, I do love benefit so this is perfect for me so that was a really nice present to receive next up is something that I've wanted for a while and again it's something I've mentioned um, and obviously that was taken note of and it is one of the Bold Metals Collection Real Techniques brushes. That was a long-winded way of saying that. Um, and it is the 301 Flat Contour Brush. Um, now, I haven't taken this out of the packet yet, but um, this is the first Bold Metals brush that I, I own. But this is kind of the, real, the one that I really wanted out of all of them. Um, I'm trying to dabble in contour slightly. Um, so this should hopefully help me. I've got the products, now I just needed the brush, and now I have the brush. So, so yeah. next up is something I've wanted for absolutely ages. Um, my hair isn't really demonstrating it today, this is just from plaiting it. Um, but I wanted some a curling tongue. Um, I've been using straighteners now for ages, but I don't really feel like they're doing a good enough job. Um, and it takes a long time, etc, etc. So I wanted the Whitney Marie curling iron, I think this is a 5-in-1, yeah, 5-in-1 interchangeable wand, curling wand, for ages now, and I have now got one, um, so this is what it looks, so it just comes in this big box, and then it opens up, and the wands are in there, so you can see that's the, kind of, the main handle thing, um, and then there's one, two, three, four, five, five wands, um, so it starts off with, kind of, the biggest one, just like that, and then it goes to, I think this is the smallest one, yeah, so that's the really, really small one, which I'm looking forward to trying out that one, actually, and um, see what kind of looks I can create, so I have attempted to use this, but I am not very good as it stands at the moment, um, but hopefully I'll get better with it once I've learned how to use it properly, but yeah, I'm really excited about that, hopefully maybe I'll do some like hair tutorials or something with it, um, I imagine it's quite similar to other curling irons, so I'll do some tutorials, see when I've figured out how to actually use it properly. But that was a big surprise, and I'm so happy I got that, so now I can have fabulous hair. Next up is a perfume, and I have so many perfumes. If you watch my perfume collection a few videos ago, you'll know how many perfumes I have. That has actually increased slightly now, and it has increased even more because I got this perfume for Christmas, um, it is the new Marc Jacobs Decadence perfume. I smelt this one in the shop, I really liked it, and then I happen to now have it for Christmas, which is very nice. And it comes in this rather swish um, bottle, so the lid actually does come off. So it's the bottle is, that is the bottle that you get the perfume in, this is the 100ml. Um, and then the lid is just like this, so it looks like a handbag and it has this massive tassel on it. Now I'm terrible at explaining perfumes, but this is, it does have kind of a hint of floral, but it's more kind of musky, uh, this is definitely more like a nighttime-ish fragrance, you could wear it in the day and I have worn it in the day, um, I actually wore it yesterday, but it's definitely more of a darker fragrancy. This is one that hangs around a lot as well. But I love that. I'm so happy that I have that. And this is one that I'm proud to put on my perfume collection on display. Now kind of on to the three bigger gifts that I received. And the first one is this bag. Now I've seen this bag. It's from Zara. And it is real leather. And I've seen it. I've seen it so many times. And every time I've been like, oh, can I bring myself to get that? And I didn't. And then I, I kind of hinted that I would like it for Christmas, but I never I never expected to receive it. And it is, let's just put the stuff in back in. And it is this kind of duffel bag. Um, now what I loved is all the studding and the star pattern. I love stars. And this has it studded all over it. Um, and then it's just plain on the back. It has a really long shoulder strap, which I have put on the longest one, but you could put shorter or take it off completely. But it off that would be a bit pointless so don't take it off um and then it just has a drawstring kind of closure to it and then inside it has got stuff in it at the moment but it just has two outside pockets on both sides and then the middle pocket is kind of a thinner inner pocket so yeah 
that is a Zara bag. I believe that's still on the internet. I'll try and link. I'll try and link it below if it if I can find it. But I remember it was still on the website last time I checked. Um, now, the two final presents. Um, one is something I've wanted for absolutely ages, years, in fact, years. Um, and it is this scarf. Now, you may recognise the print already, but it is an Alexander McQueen scarf. It's probably the most like iconic one that there is from Alexander McQueen. So it's just the black kind of, I'm not sure what material it's made of. Um, I'm not really sure to be honest, but you've probably seen it before or heard of it. Um, it's just the, the black one though with the white skulls, which is the one I wanted. I wanted the kind of more kind of iconic one, so you could say. Um, it does say, there is where it says, so it says Alexander McQueen on it, there, I don't know how well you can see that. I would usually wear it, I have worn it in fact a few times, and I would just wear it kind of like that so it spaces out. Um, but yeah, I love this. This was such a shock, I had absolutely no idea I was getting this. Um, I had hinted, but obviously you never, you never know what you're going to get. Um, and I'm, I'm so happy that I now have this. Um, as I said, I've wanted it for absolutely years, so I'm just so happy that I have this. And I can see I'm going to wear it a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, so yeah, that is the Alexander McQueen scarf. Um, but then there was actually one more thing that I had absolutely no idea about. I was actually going to get myself one of these in the new year. I was going to save up for a few months and get myself one. But now I do not need to. Um, and it comes in this massive long box, which I'm actually quite surprised it came in this box, to be honest. I was like, what is that when I opened it? Um, but it does, if you can see there, I'm not sure if, you, if you'll even be able to see that, but it does say Apple Watch on it. Um, now, I wanted an Apple Watch for ages. I have an iPhone. If you don't have an iPhone, Apple Watches probably aren't for you. In fact, I don't think they work with any other phone. Um, but if you have an iPhone, they're a really great kind of accessory to go with your phone. Um, so I'll actually just show you the one I got first. So I actually wanted the bigger face and I initially had no interest in these watches um, when there was just a gold and silver one um, but recently they brought out a rose gold one um, and I was completely interested in it um, and this is the one that I got. So I'm not sure, let me just put it behind the box, maybe that'll help more. Yeah, so there it is, I'm not sure if that even helps to be honest. It's just the rose gold body, which you probably won't be able to see, and on the back it just has that. And then it is the stone strap. Um, this is this comes standard with this size. This is the 42 millimeter one. Comes standard with the stone strap. Um, and yeah, there is a slightly smaller one which comes with a lilac strap. I wanted the bigger one, and you can buy straps if you want them anyway. But this is the strap I wanted anyway, so it just works out like that, like that. Um, and I really like it. I've been wearing this every day since I got it. Um, it does kind of work with your phone. It buzzes, it taps your wrist um, if you have a message, if someone's calling you or it reminds you to stand, it's good for exercise etc. So yeah, I'm so happy that I got this. As I said, it was a complete surprise um, and I feel so lucky that I have this. Um, but it's definitely going to be a watch that I'm not going to take off. I love it so much. Um, just I'm kind of discovering new things about it every day which is great but yeah I love this and I was so surprised that I got that but that is so that is everything that I got for Christmas I know it was a lot um but I just thought I thought you might be interested in seeing it as I said I love watching these kinds of videos and um, I love seeing what other people got it just is so good seeing the different things and um, so I hope you enjoy seeing what I got um, and yeah, I'm just going to end this video now and I will see you in my next one then. Please don't forget to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more and I will see you in my next video then. Bye!